Hi folks. Hi folks. Mike and Tam are coming to you from our driveway. For us, it is just before dawn on November 27th, 2020's version of Black Friday. That day when legend has it, the ink in the ledgers of all the merchants changes in color from red to black. Let's see what it's like this year, for us at least, locally. Tammy and I are getting a later start this year than we have in Black Fridays of yore. There have been occasions where we've been up at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning preparing ourselves, making out our battle plan, and we would have a plan in some years, mostly because of the idea of door busters. That's why we would be out so early. Door busters. The idea of a retailer putting on deep discounts for some items to get you in the store when you're in the buying mood to buy other things. This year, however, we've gone to the websites of the retailers we intend to visit today. We also bought a newspaper and looked at the hard copy sell papers in there for all these merchants that we're going to. And what is missing this year is the idea of getting there on Black Friday morning when the doors open, usually around 5 a.m. to get these really deep discounts. Most of the stores have been offering their discounts now for several days. So that leaves us to wonder just how much of a Black Friday are we gonna see out there? We finally have a little natural light. The sun's come up a bit. I remember one year in particular, Tammy, you may remember this. There was an item we wanted at Best Buy uh, that was a door buster. And we got there at 4.30 a.m. thinking we were slick thinking we were getting a jump on everybody because the doors didn't open at five. And what we were greeted with was a line of people, some with sleeping bags, blankets, and chairs who had been camping out on the sidewalk out in front of uh, Best Buy. Do you remember that year? Yeah, I do. And the store employees came out before the uh, store opened and handed out slips of paper to the first few people out there. Each one of those slips of paper represented one of the available door buster items. They were gone, the slips of paper were gone long before the it got, to, before the doors were open, before it even got to us where we were in line. We had no chance of getting any of those door buster items. With a bit of research, I was able to find at least one store today that was having something that approximated door busters. Uh, limited availability items, but they are not big ticket uh, electronics or anything of that nature. Tam and I are outside Ollie's here in Gainesville, Georgia. They are having door busters. Hey, Tammy, one thing I'm noticing right off the bat is there are not a lot of people here mm -hmm. for a store that's having a door buster sales there's mm -hmm. not a lot of people here and there doesn't seem to be a dearth of merchandise they seem to have everything stocked there's plenty of stuff there really wasn't a need for the door busters
Tammy, Ollie's. What do you think? It was a bust. It was a bust. They had some they had some deeply discounted items, but they had plenty of them. So if you were coming looking for for Black Friday action, getting here early because things were gonna sell out, nothing had sold out. There was plenty of everything. So showing up here at Ollie's at 5 a.m. this morning, we weren't here at 5 a.m., but I, I'm kind of glad that we weren't because if we were, I would have been even more disappointed than I am right now. Yeah. While planning for today, in the absence of any doorbuster pricing, there just really didn't seem to be any incentive to crawl out of bed really early in the morning and to get out there. Uh, as I mentioned before, many of these retailers have had Black Friday pricing on many items going on for days or even weeks. And even those stores that are offering special pricing on items just for this weekend, this Black Friday weekend, uh, are offering those same prices online. You don't actually have to go in the store to get any of this stuff at all. Many retail stores have opened early today though. It is the beginning of the Christmas season pretty much right after Thanksgiving anyway. So I'm not sure whether or not there's any special Black Friday pricing going on at Five Below, but they are open early today. So we're gonna see if we can find any values besides there are a few things we need to pick up. So five below, honey, did not seem any more crowded no. this early opening Black Friday than it would on any other, say, weekend day. It is a Friday, but it is certainly no more than on any other Saturday. In fact, yeah. I've been in there on many Saturdays when it's been a lot, lot more, more crowded. crowded yeah. But we were able to find some stocking stuffers while we were in there. So folks in our house, everyone gets presents to unwrap on Christmas morning. Petco is having a Black Friday sale as well. Let's go in here and check this out, see what the crowds are like, see what kind of goodies we can find for our fur babies.
So Petco, not much of a crowd in there no. either, as you can see from the video, but they did have some, some great deals. prices. I believe our fur babies are gonna be happy come Christmas morning. For Mike and Tam, traditionally the epicenter of Black Friday is usually Kohl's. Tammy really loves Kohl's. It looks a little more crowded than it usually would be on a regular Friday anyway. So let's go see how Black Friday is affecting Kohl's. <music> So Coles did turn out to be a little more crowded than it usually would be on a Friday. Now this is about a Saturday uh, crowd. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think it's any more crowded no. on Black Friday than it would be on any other Saturday, especially a Saturday as you're approaching the Christmas season. They did have some good bargains, but again, all these prices have been good for a few days. They will be good tomorrow as well. And they're also good online there was nothing here that we could not have bought online or have bought the day before yesterday if we'd wanted to so just to give you an idea of what the crowds are like the parking spaces this is Coles on black friday bed bath and beyond is having a black friday sale today and you can see what their parking lot is looking like there's again for a friday there seems to be a few more people out than usual, but compared to a, a regular Saturday shopping experience, it does not appear to be really that much more crowded here at Ross Dress for Less. These are all pickup spaces out front, but you can see the parking lot has a few more people than you would expect on a Friday morning course down here at the end of this particular strip mall is Target and Target is hopping. is hopping more than any other now Target uh, a disclaimer Target is usually crowded around here seven days a week you can find folks at the Target but this does seem to be for a Friday and keep in mind folks are off from work today it is pretty crowded at the Target. Tammy and I have stopped by IHOP for our Black Friday debriefing. And they have some holiday items on the menu. What did you get there, Tammy? Biscuits and gravy. 
Ooh, that looks pretty nice. I ordered the holiday milk and cookies. Pancakes. Those look pretty nice. This was nothing compared to uh, Black Fridays and years gone by. Was it? No. Uh, there's, I can't even tell whether or not the crowds that we saw were due to it being Black Friday or it's just due to the fact that people are off from work today anyway because of the holiday weekend. Mm. Mm. These milk and cookie pancakes, it really to me didn't even feel like a Black Friday at all. Just like a normal holiday sales shopping time. Cookies and cream. This is pretty good. Mm. Very sweet. And the taste of vanilla, the vanilla cream. Instead of a. It looks really sweet. In, instead of a syrup, they have a vanilla cream. We did get some Christmas presents and paid discount prices for them today. So I'm pretty satisfied with that. But was it worth going out today? early in the morning to get to these stores that opened early, even though the prices weren't any better for getting there early, they opened early. Was it worth that? No. Next time, if you were presented with a similar situation, would you just stay home and buy this stuff online? Or would you go out and Black Friday shop in person? Online. You would do it online? And we finish up where we began at home in our driveway. So it will take a while for the numbers to come in so that we'll know how retailers did this year and how this kind of Black Friday affected them. While I do believe the concept of Black Friday will continue into the future, I'm not sure even in a, a post-pandemic world where we can all get together again, if they would even be willing to go back to doing business that way. So we may have seen the last year where folks gather outside Best Buy with sleeping bags and blankets and lawn chairs camping out for bargains. We now may be in a time where Black Friday is actually Black Wednesday, Black Friday, Black Saturday, maybe Black November. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming out with Tammy and I to satisfy our curiosity about what Black Friday and the very non-traditional year 2020 looks like. Until the next time, this is Mike and Tam saying, Bye. Bye.